What's up everyone? My name is Stephen Harrell with Tiny House Listings and today I wanted to give you a quick tour of a 28 foot model Tiny that we recently completed. This is one of the most popular models that we build. This one's very nice. It's a little bit different than ones we've completed in the past. So I want to kind of show you around, show you some of the differences. Recently we started adding German siding to our tiny houses and so this has a poly and sealed kind of look to it. Over time it'll start to fade a little bit, get a darker weather look which actually looks really good. But this German siding is available on all of our tiny house models. So this one has the LP sheets on it. So in the past, a lot of our model tinies have done the lap siding, but this one's actually sheets, the same material, but this makes it actually a little bit more lightweight. And if you go with this, it's actually a little bit more affordable because it takes less time to, for us to install and to paint and things like that. So all of our tiny homes are heated and cooled via this mini split, uh, very efficient 12,000 BTU mini split. It's rated to go anywhere in the continental United States. It doesn't matter if you're up along the Canadian border. If you're down in the most southern parts of Florida, down in the Keys, this right here can easily handle it, uh, cool you down, heat you up, no problem. All right, so on the back side, it's very similar to the front side. It just says I have the German siding. It's all the way down. It's a board and batten style. So every four feet, we put batten strips all the way down. And again, this is a 50-year product. So this is really, really heavy duty stuff. Every one of our tiny homes, we use heavy duty metal uh, roof, and this is a 40 year product. So it'll last you a really long time. Uh, we screw it down a lot. So <laughs> when it's going down the road, there's no worry about, about that coming off. We just prefer metal over shingles because we think it has a better look and it's more durable. That's everything I want to show you on the outside. So why don't we hop on inside and I'll show you more there. So welcome to the inside. I thought we'd start with the front. This is the front of the home. Uh, in other words, the part that actually gets towed. This is a full size bathroom. Over the uh, past few years, we've made a lot of additions and enhancement improvements to the bathroom. We build each one of our vanities by hand with a pedestal style sink. And then we have a full flush toilet. Now, if you wanted to replace this toilet with a compost toilet, that's no problem. Each one of our tiny homes have a electric outlet. So you can plug the compost toilet in there, no problem. We extended the bathroom out a little bit farther and that allows you to have a washer and dryer here in the back of the room with huge shelves above. So you can put all kinds of stuff in there. Then each one of our showers are a full 36 inch stand up shower. So there's plenty of room. This uh, bathroom has a full seven foot one feet above you. So unless if you're super tall, you, uh, you shouldn't have an issue at all being able to use this bathroom comfortably. So each one of our tiny houses also in the bathroom have a GFI outlet. So if you need to plug in your hair dryer, curling iron, whatever it happens to be. And we can also install a medicine cabinet for you to put all your toiletries and things like that. Also, each one of our tiny houses above the shower have a fan and that allows any uh, ex excess moisture to be vent it out and that happens through this humidistat that we install. So if you set it to a certain humidity and once it hits that level, fan automatically kicks in. You don't have to worry about any moisture or mold issues. The kitchen is actually a full eight feet long, tons of storage underneath. The whole idea behind this kitchen was to where you can cook meals out of it, no problem. Lots of counter space, lots of storage above. We have shelving, multiple cabinets, deep stainless steel sink. We really designed this to be open and to where that you could be highly functional. So whatever meal it is you need to prep, you could absolutely do it in this kitchen. To the front side of the kitchen area, we have a storage above, apartment size fridge, 10.1 cubic feet. If you look to the other side here, you can see that we have a, a kitchen area. We staged it that way. You can put it however you want, um, but you can sit here and have a nice little meal. You could even put another tabletop here. So if you needed more kitchen counter space, you could work over here as well. So now that we're on the other side of the kitchen, you can get a better idea from this angle. But I wanted to point your attention above the bathroom. We have a really nice storage loft. You can put a lot of stuff up there. Now this is only meant for a storage loft, but in the very near future, we're going to be adding a dormer option. And what that'll do is create more space up there. So both sides of the loft will be the same height. And you can have that as a guest sleeping area if you want. And we'll also add an egress window in case there's ever some sort of emergency. If you look on the interior of this, it's more of a Scandinavian style. The walls and the ceiling are made of one half inch cabinet grade plywood, beautiful plywood. Now, a lot of the model tinies that we do are lap siding and the roof is a pine lap siding. This is the other option. And again, it's a little bit more affordable, but I personally love the look. So it's a really open kind of Scandinavian modern look on this one. And the great thing about this particular tiny house model is so open. There's endless possibilities in terms of what you can put where. We have it here where we have a love seat versus a sofa. And on this side, we have a stage, just as a little sitting area. You could take your shoes off and stuff here. But if you wanted, you could have a full size desk here, look out the window, Really, really nice. You could put storage here. We could build storage for you want. It's completely up to you. But this is such an open layout that there's so many options that it really is just specific to what you need and that's what we'll do for you. So now we are in the bedroom area and this is, we have it staged as a queen size bed. You could put a king here. You could put a full or even a twin if it's just yourself and you wanted more living area. But yeah, this is really nice because you can lay your head here, the pillows, and we put a wall outlet here. So you could hang your TV 
here, put it on a swivel and point it towards the living area if you wanted. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. We do have multiple ones of these available currently. And also just a quick uh, heads up, in March or April, we're going to be opening up a new tiny house community in the mountains of Virginia. Really excited about that. We're already getting a lot of interest. So for example, you could purchase this tiny house. We would ship it there for you, set it up, and you literally just start living pay a uh, small monthly lot fee. If you have any questions, just email us at build at tinyhouselistings.com or you can even go to our build website, tinyhouselistings.build, where you can get more information on this particular model, get pricing, reach out to us. We'll help walk you through the entire process. So anyways, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.